Hey guys, Mike Mouse 74 with another video review. We're going to be taking a look at Transformers Dark of the Moon Cyberverse Leadfoot with a comparison with Cyberverse Bumblebee from that three pack Cybertronian Warriors pack. In this review, I'll be giving you guys um, a look at the vehicle mode and talk about some of the detail and then give you a size comparison with the uh, Cyber, uh, Cyberverse Bumblebee and then give you a reverse transformation and all that fun stuff. So without further ado, let's get Leadfoot in his uh, vehicle mode and see what he looks like. Stay tuned guys. So here we have Cyberverse Leadfoot in his track mode. I'll give you guys a full 360 to discuss some of the detail in the figure. And then I'll give you guys a quick size comparison and then move right on into the transformation. So you can see that Leadfoot is, is really, really well, well in detailed. So for detail wise, you can see that uh, it looks like he has some uh, Missile launches on the uh, on the hood of the vehicle or on the top of the vehicle, and on the hood on both sides it looks like he has uh, some missile launches here and right there as well. And you have the the numbers 42 on the side of the vehicle here, a nice Autobot logo on the back, and uh, silver headlights on the uh, on the front of the vehicle right there. And then you get the Chevy logo right here, and again on the other side you get the numbers 42 right here. So overall, it's pretty, uh, pretty cool, pretty decent figure. So now I'll give you guys a quick size comparison. So here's Leadfoot with Cybertronian Bumblebee from the Warriors three pack. I'll give you guys a full 360. That way you guys can uh, see the um, the comparison between the two. So Leadfoot is just a little bit longer than Bumblebee. So I'll give you guys another look at the figures side by side. So if you put them side by side, you can you can see that uh, that foot is just a tad, a little bit longer than Bumblebee in that in vehicle mode. So I'll give you guys an, another look at Leadfoot in vehicle mode before I go ahead and show you how to put him in his robot mode. Overall, a pretty decent figure. Uh, I do highly recommend to pick him up if you can find him. Uh, I found this figure at what, at, uh, at my Walmart. So if you guys, like I said, if you can find them, then get them. So to go ahead and put them in his robot mode, what I like to do is get the arms out first. This makes it easier for the uh, to get the legs down. So just if you can get the arms out, just like so, and then lift up. And then for his hands, just bring the hands up like so. And then do the same thing with the other side. Bring the uh, hand out or bring the arm out, bring it up, and then you bring the hand out just like that. And even if you want, you can bring down the, uh, the hood of the vehicle to reveal his, uh, his face. And then for his legs, you just want to bring down the, the back of the vehicle to reveal his legs. And then just kind of separate at the bottom where his legs are. And his legs are on ball joints. And now you, you just want to position everything down, just like so. And it's just a matter of making him stand. And there you have Leadfoot in his robot mode. So for articulation wise, his arms do move all the way around. They are on ball joints, so you gotta be extremely careful with them. And same with the other side. His arms do go all the way around. And his feet do move up and down, or uh, yeah, up and down, and as well as side to side, and same with the other foot, it does go up and down as well as side to side. So that's just a little bit of articulation in in uh, the in that foot, and just again, it's just a, a matter of trying to make them stand. So I'll give you guys a close up of the figure, and then uh, a 360. That way, you guys can see uh, what the figure looks like all around. Come to the left side of the figure. Still a little chubby for a uh, for a Cyberverse figure, but that's how he's actually supposed to look like in the movie. He's supposed to be a chubby figure. They come to the uh, back side of the figure, so you can see the uh, 
the missile launcher or cannon on the uh, on the roof of the vehicle. And then you come to the right side of the figure. I really like the uh, the head sculpt on that foot. It looks really, really well done, really cool. So now I'll give you guys a quick size comparison. So here's uh, Leadfoot with the Cyberverse Bumblebee. As, as you guys can see, they're almost the exact same height. I'll give you guys a full 360 so you guys can see what they look like, look like all around and the uh, size and the size comparison. Yeah, so it looks like it looks like to me that they're they're almost the exact same height as each other. Maybe Bumblebee could be just a little bit taller, but not quite. But that's just because uh, Leadfoot's a little bit chubbier. <laughs> So that's just a quick size comparison between Cyberverse Leadfoot and Cyberverse Bumblebee. So I'll give you guys another look at Leadfoot before I show you how to put him back into his track mode. So you can see that the detail is really, really well done. And he's really not that bad of a, not that bad of a figure to transform either. It's really quite simple. So to go ahead and put um, Leadfoot back into his track mode what I want to do is if you want you can even um, get the uh, the hood up lift the hood up just like so and then you want to bring the the arms in bring push his hands in uh, like this and then do the same thing with his other hand you want to push the hand in just like that and then you want to just carefully bring it uh, down so his fit so his fists are kind of like at the side of his face the same thing with the other hand or the other arm you want to bring the uh, the arm in and then his hand will be at the, at the other side of his face. And then next, you want to just tab these together, the bottom of his uh, feet. And then all you have to do is just kind of bend them down a little bit, just like so. And then there you have Leadfoot back into his vehicle mode. So it's really, really not that bad of a transformation. Once you get used to it, then it becomes really, really quite easy. So this is Mike Mouse 74 with a video review of Transformers Dark of the Moon Cyberverse Lightfoot with a comparison with Cyberverse Bumblebee. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, support the mouse, support your Transformer community, and don't forget to check out my Power Glide 74 channel for great reviews and updates and much more. Till then, thanks for watching guys, and always, take care.